guys welcome back so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this Pennywise inspired look so as you can see I'm just fast forwarding so far I'm just putting on foundation um, that's two shades lighter than my color and I'm also doing a lighter concealer as well just to brighten up my face and just to make me look a little bit more ghastly and unnatural and like dead Next, I'm going to be doing contour just because this is a glam Pennywise look. So just having all the necessary things of a glam look. So we're just going to make sure that we also set our foundation so we won't crease and it looks finished when the result is done. Alright, so this is the fun part. The eye makeup was really fun for this look. I thought it was really cool to do a cut crease. I did um, a red and black and gold cut crease. Um, so right now I'm just going in with this red body cream. Uh, by the way, all the products I use will be listed down in the description bar. So for the cut crease, I am using this red body cream that I got from um, the Halloween stores, like body paint basically. So this is what I'm using to do my cut crease initially next I'm going to blend it out I'm using um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, kit and I am using two colors from her um, modern renaissance kit I'll link them down in the description bar but I'm just using those to blend out um, the eye look and make sure that it looks really good and it doesn't look too harsh and all the harsh lines are blended out Next, I'm going in and just making my cut crease more defined. I'm going in with this gold body cream, body paint, sorry, body paint, an, another item from the Halloween store. And I'm just using this to make my cut crease more defined and to make my eyelid pop as well. Alright, next I'm going to be adding a black line into the cut crease as well just to make it more defined and just to give it a little bit more dimension because I really wanted it to stand out and that the eye look be a standout piece of the whole entire look because this is a glam look, a glam clown. Like if Pennywise was a makeup artist, this is probably how he would do his makeup. Next I'm just going in um, with the Noor shade from a Anastasia Beverly Hills palette as well and I'm just blending that out just to add um, more dimension and just to make sure that the crease is good. Next I'm going into my um, waterline and just blending out on my lower lid or my lower under under my eye sorry under my eye um, the same brush I used. Next, going on to the nose. The nose was really simple. I used that same body paint that I used to do my cut crease initially just to make my red nose. And as you can see, I'm gradually like blending it out because as you can see, a Pennywise nose is kind of like faded. It's not directly all red. It's like an ombre effect. Next, the fun slash hard part, drawing his teardrops. Um, as you can see, it would help me draw them a little bit better was to smile slightly just ever so slightly just so I knew exactly where to um, make the the curve at so that really helped um, it was hard getting the second side to look the same I had to eventually go back in and just um, use a makeup wipe to wipe off some of that excess uh, line this is just completing the line. I'm just going up above my eyebrow just to make sure that it is lined up with the bottom line so it all looks neat and lined up. And you can make these however long or short you want or pointy. It's really fun because you get to take Pennywise's look and do your own look as you can see that I'm doing and just how I interpreted his makeup look. Next, I'm going to do um, black eye sorry black liner on my lips and then I'm going to eventually go back in with red just keeping that black and red theme going throughout the whole makeup look and just to make sure that it looks good I did also off camera add um, highlighter and eyelashes so when you see the finished result 
that's what I did.